Yo, hey there everybody. Been a little while, but uh, this video I've been thinking about doing for a little bit, and it's basically just going to go over the two the tools that I typically use on a daily basis, or maybe the most common tools that I typically grab day to day. And as you can see here, I'm using this. This is the Park. It's a long handle, eight millimeter um, wrench that comes in handy for installing pedals you know that had the eight millimeter interface on the back side or spindle bolts um, suspension bolts things like that super common grab that tool numerous times and just kind of on the on the hex wrench um, you know in the same genre of tools um, you know I'm not super particular about the type but I use these quite a bit grab these a lot especially the smaller sizes um, you know, don't really use three ways as far as a four, five, six that much. I usually grab those. Uh, another common tool that I use, maybe not quite as much, but these little, this little pick set Park Tool makes. Typically, the straight one is the one I'm going to use the most. Um, if you're installing new cables on something, these are kind of nice. They've got a little magnet on the back. You know, if you're trying to fish cables, you know. Also, the hooked ones are great for that. Um, this is another tool I use quite a bit. It's just a little Torx T25, which is by far the most common um, tool as far as your Torx sizes. Um, you know, and I'll I'll use the the actual tools quite a bit. There's quite a few bright you know components that use these and other things as well, stems and whatnot. But uh, this particular one I use a ton on like just disc brake rotors. Removing and installing makes it way quicker. Spoke wrenches. This is by far my favorite spoke wrench. I grab this thing numerous times daily. I like the nice flat wing portion. They don't dig into your fingers. You know, super comfortable. Some of the other ones that are kind of that hoop shape. You know, they'll they'll bruise the tips of your fingers if you're using them quite a bit daily. So I like these. And then you know the they've got the little bladed. You know the DT Swiss bladed holder so it dig, goes down deep into that uh, spoke wrench works really well as a combination uh, the other thing is you know this is a 10 millimeter size but your basic hand wrench that's a open end on one end and a closed end with a ratcheting um, internal piece use these a ton 8, 9, 10 as far as the smaller ones and then uh, like the 15 millimeter 13, 14, 15 primarily the 15 on kids bikes fixing flats stuff like that it's a great little tool this is another one I grab all the time daily this is a stands uh, it's just a valve core remover removes the press the valves on that side that's the got the flats and then just your Schrader you know so doing tubeless installs um, Schrader tubes putting sealant in them either or use this thing probably grab it three or four times minimum every day to use this thing and you know as far as 2020 been a year of building a lot of inexpensive mountain bikes and you know some of the inexpensive bikes will use a you know this is a 8 9 10 kind of a socket three-way so you know adjusting brakes and derailers things like that mainly derailers but I use this thing numerous times every day um, super handy tool it's a little longer than the old school once so you get a little bit more leverage great little tool uh, and then this is the the two 2.5 and 3 millimeter hex three-way I like this one a lot better than the four five six one just because it's good leverage for these little small bolts you know lock on grips dropper levers uh, various little small bolts in this size you know derailleur adjustments on SRAM derailleurs handy little tool I like the leverage and the size and everything on this <laughs> Uh, last but not least, this is my Dualco grease gun. I've been using this thing since I've had this tool since the 90s. I've taken it to several different shops and uh, use it generally every single day I'm at work. You know, it just puts that grease. You know, if you're putting bikes together or just doing general repair work or you need that, just that little bit of grease in the right spot, you know, it's nice. You know, keeps keep your hands from getting into the grease and stuff like that. I don't know, it's a little cleaner, gets the grease right where you want it, but 
uh, yeah that's definitely a great tool addition to any mechanic and so yeah that's going to do it for this video hopefully you enjoyed it found it helpful if you have any questions comments put them down there below I'll put links to every one of these tools where you can buy them if you're interested um, got another video coming up here pretty soon uh, just kind of go over some of the reasons why I haven't been on here but anyway that's gonna do it for this one thanks for watching and we will see you guys next time